Hi guys, welcome back to the IT and Psychology YouTube channel. Today we are going to continue with the, the, the four types of positioning in CSS. Here we have been provided with four types. The, uh, the four types are static positioning, fixed positioning, relative positioning, absolute positioning. This is a deep this is a by default position for HTML elements. It is not affected by top, bottom, left and right properties. Abhi samaj mein nahi aara hoga by reading it. The solved examples will explain, them, explain all of these. So just bear with me and have a proper reading of what I'm going to teach in the next part. The next one we have here is fixed positioning. This property helps us to put the text field on the browser. The fixed property forces an element into a fixed position relative to the browser window. The fixed element will not move even when the page is scrolled. So, just like this place will be fixed, if you scroll down and scroll down, then this area, which you have put in the top left area, टॉप लेफ्ट एरियाज में आपने इसको फिक्स कर दिया तो वो एलिमेंट वहां से मूव नहीं होगा इवन दो यू स्क्रोल योर वेब पेज अप और डाउन नेक्स्ट वी हैव हियर इज एन एग्जांपल प्लीज गो थ्रू दिस एंड ट्राई इट फॉर योरसेल्फ्स द थर्ड पोजीशनिंग इज रिलेटिव पोजीशनिंग द रिलेटिव पोजीशनिंग प्रॉपर्टी इज यूज्ड टू सेट द एलिमेंट रिलेटिव टू इट्स नॉर्मल पोजीशन this speaks for itself i hope this is easy if there is some doubt please ask me on the telegram channel and for doubts message me personally as i am the admin of uh, the channel it and psychology which uh, the link of which has been provided in the description fourth one here is absolute positioning this property sets an element in a specific location and it is not affected by the flow of the page this property positions the element at specified coordinates relative to your screen's top left corner so this is a specified uh, these are specified corners allotted to your elements here we have for uh, these examples contact me again on telegram if you need a dot html file for this also and i'll give you the uh, notepad version also uh, as well next we have here in above output level 1 heading here that has been given with class equals to first as a relative position take 10 pixels above and 10 pixels to the right of its original position so here you, you can see the difference aap ye difference dekh sakte hain ki ye 10 pixels above hai apne relative matlab jo iska position hai aur 10 pixels to the right hai the next one we have here is all level 2 headings will be positioned 100 pixels from the left of the browser win, browser window and 150 pixels from the top of the browser window so the up they can get to ye heading to join the kind of up a yeah hundred pixels to the left hai. sorry hundred pixels from the left side of the web page here or ye 150 pixels niche hai from the top of the browser window again हम देखते हैं float property. Float property is a CSS property written in CSS file or directly in style of an element. The float property defines the flow of content. This will be further elaborated in the solved examples that have been given ahead. Following are the types of floating properties. So here we have we have been provided with three types of float properties that are float left float right float none the first one float left this keeps the element 
float on left side of the container. The next one is right. This keeps the element float on the right side of the container. And three float none. This default property. This shows the element as it is. This shows it in its original position, and this does not affect it in any way. So the left and right are the ones that will change your default setting that has been set at none. The next one we the next thing we have here is solved example a solved example with the output. Please practice these as the, these will give you a proper insight of what these attributes and properties actually mean and the use of these. The next one we have here is display property. The display property in CSS defines how the components division sorry that's div hyperlink heading and etc are going to be placed on the web page so this display property in the cascading style sheet this actually defines how these components the examples that have been provided to us in the brackets are going to be placed on the web page this specifies how the element is displayed as the name suggests, this property is used to define the display of different parts of the web page. The syntax given here is display colon value semicolon where the values are. Okay. Uh, then next we have here are four types of display properties that are inline, block, block inline, and none. Here, inline it is used to display an element as an inline element. Block it is used to display an element as as a block element. It starts on a new line and takes up the whole width of the browser window. Block inline this value is very similar to input element, but the difference is that you are able to set the width and height. So this is actually alterable, uh, if that's a word. Uh, none. The element is completely removed. So there's nothing there. Next we have here are a few solved examples with the outputs explaining the properties. Uh, here there's something interesting. Here there is the, uh, a sort of revision has been provided to us of semantic tags and CSS that we have earlier learned in uh, our 11th grade. So this actually gives us a proper overview of what we actually studied uh, in web designing that was uh, that uh, was mentioned in uh, the 11th grade. So go through this or just try this out on, on your uh, web browser and we'll continue the next one we have here is the ordered list or a numbered list the old tag defines an ordered list an ordered list can be numerical or alphabetical here there are various attributes the first one given is type the values for this are one a capital i and small i one is the default value and other values specify the numbering type for the used items next attribute given to us is sorry sorry reversed the value here values here are reversed this attribute specifies that the items of the list are specified in the reverse order तो यहाँ पे जो जो आपको टाइप में दिखेगा ना आपके वैल्यूज वो आपको ये रिवर्स वाले एट्रीब्यूट में वो पूरा रिवर्स हो क्या है रिवर्स ऑर्डर में दिखाएगा नेक्स्ट वन वी हैव हियर इज स्टार्ट एट्रीब्यूट द वैल्यू ऑफ दिस इज न्यूमेरिकल नंबर एंड द डिस्क्रिप्शन गिवन हियर इज दैट दिस स्पेसिफाइज द स्टार्टिंग नंबर ऑफ द फर्स्ट आइटम इन एन ऑर्डर लिस्ट 
here we have an example that is explaining uh, the ordered list this is this is basic and uh, this should be practiced yeah this continues as order list gives us different uses of the attributes uh, the next one we have here is unordered list or bulleted list an unordered list is list created using the ul tag and each list items starts with the li tag the list items in unordered list are marked with bullets small blocks circles by default here we have been given with the first example of unordered list please check this out on your web browser we have here we have been given the attributes of ul tag the first one is type equals to disk slash circle slash square here this use style sheet in instead of type attribute in html5 type attribute is supported by previous versions of html5 so this is a much better version and this is actually supported by the new version of html the values here are various uh, like the same uh, style has been applied with the ul tag inserted and the values that are disk circle square and none so yahan pe char alag style same hoga dekhiye aap uh, style ka code same hoga aur ul tag start mein hoga aur bas ye value alag alag hoga to ek baar check kar lijiye the description given here is sets this actually sets the list item marker to a bullet that is actually a default that that is only for the disk version the circle this sets the list item marker to a circle so that this dot we have here this marker when the, uh, it's a disk it is it, it is set as a bullet and when it is a circle this this is set as a the item marker is set as a circle and when it is a this value is a square the uh, the list item marker is set to a square and when it is the val sorry the value has been put as none the item will not be marked so here we have uh, here there is a note this shows that html5 does not support bullets circle and square value of type attribute instead you use css style so that you can insert various bullets through different attributes next we have here is the definition list this is used to define a definition list d l tag is used you can create items in definition list with the use of dt and dd the dt tag is used to define the term whereas dd tag is used to define the term's definition here there's a there's a difference please understand it read it thoroughly so that you can get a clear grasp of what has been provided us next we have here is a, a solved example with the output uh, output provided so we'll continue and please if you want the dot html version and the notepad notepad uh, coding uh, contact me on telegram or just uh, follow me yeah on telegram only the group uh, link has been provided to you in the description of this video uh, next we have here is the nested list list within another list either order list or unordered list is called a nested list this nested part i mean this thing we have learned in excel as well 
there it's called a nested uh, nested what do you nested form nested it yeah so this is uh, like a cocoon you have different lists you can just hybridize your uh, list like up a lag a lag list dal sakte hain yeah uh, here we have another uh, solved example with the output solved examples with the outputs given so in uh, here uh, i'm going to be covering this part in the next video please like share and subscribe so that i can make this experience a lot more efficient and uh, thank you for watching you've been a lovely audience